Hi, my name is Wayne. I am an ASC certified master technician. I have over 34 years of experience. Today, you and I are going to help to repair your car. Today we're going to be working on a 1997 Toyota T100 with a 3.4 liter 4 cam engine. This car came to us because it failed its emissions test. The check engine light is on and the fuel economy is very poor. There is an odor from the exhaust and there's even black smoke after the engine is warmed up. We're going to show you how to diagnose this car professionally. Now we've allowed the car to run until we get into a closed loop scenario where the O2 sensor is driving the fuel trim and we noticed that the bank one sensor, the fuel trim sensor, is low, very low. The PCM is trying to fuel the engine, it's over fueling the engine, causing our misfire and then it's causing us to have the stumble and the roughness that we have. If it runs too rich, we're going to have the exhaust smell and the smoke that we have. Let's put up in the air and take a look at our connections and make sure there's no air leak at the sensor. Okay, in our oxygen sensor diagnosis, we have always start with the engine cooled down enough that we don't burn ourselves on the exhaust. The catalytic converter and the pipe are all cooled down. So let's go ahead and diagnose it. For our diagnostics and repair today, we will be using the Innova Pro Scan Tool, a 12 millimeter wrench, our trusty flashlight, our safety gloves, and our safety goggles. First thing to check is to make sure the sensor is tight. It's all good and tight, that's good. A loose sensor can allow oxygen to come in and make the sensor read lower than it actually is. We also want to check the connector and make sure that it's nice and connected and it's not full of corrosion or a bunch of mud. Check to make sure the wire isn't laying on the exhaust. Okay, the visual looks good. With the O2 sensors out, we want to make sure that they're the like kind. It's important to make sure the connectors are the same. This particular sensor uses a gasket where most sensors screw directly into the exhaust pipe through a bung and they have a washer on them. This one has a gasket. Make sure you get all the old gasket material off of the exhaust pipe and when you put the new sensor on, put a little bit of anti-seize compound on the two bolts before you put the nuts on. Let's install it and then look at our data. Okay, we've made our repair. Now let's see how our sensor works. With our Innova scan tool connected, we're able to read the live data and that's going to be a great benefit to us. First, we'll clear the codes. They've been erased, nothing's come back. And we will look at our O2 sensor live data. With the car in a closed loop scenario, the O2 sensor should be varying between 200 and 800 millivolts. Rich, lean, rich, lean. And now it is. We're no longer biased down low. It'd be a good idea to change the oil after making this repair since the engine was running so rich. We've cleared the monitors, cleared the code. Now it's time for a road test. We've returned from our road test and we don't have the odor anymore. The check engine light has stayed off. We went ahead and changed the oil. And there are many things that can cause an engine to have a check engine light or a misfire. This particular one was caused by a skewed oxygen sensor. The oxygen sensor is very important for the computer to know how rich or lean the engine is and to make those adjustments accordingly. We have only touched on one of these scenarios today. There are other videos that go into depth of other misfires. But for this particular condition, it has been professionally diagnosed, professionally checked, and professionally repaired. Job well done, and the keys go to you.